Hi, we've been spending a lot of time outdoors. The weather is warm, the ground is muddy and the pond is good to take a dip in. I spent some time in the workshop to create signs. We prepared more beds and planted more stuff, built some extension storage for the greenhouse and got lots of branches to work with from our neighbors. Having 55 beds in six different parcels got kind of confusing, since every bed looked the same without plants in it. I took some time to reuse some wood we had lying around and built little signs. Last week we sowed parsnips, carrots, radish and planted young cabbage. Before doing so, the bed has to be prepared in the same way that we've already described last year. It's best to do this job in a group of three, so two can watch the third one destroy their shoulder with shoveling. Good job!
da. Ist okay, du kannst uns die Stufen rausschütteln oder so. Und, und ich glaube, du musst gar nicht so fest eine drücken. As we were running out of space in our greenhouse, we were in need of building another level to host our plants. Lucky for us, we had some pine boards laying around, which we milled into some squared up stock. From this on, we just screwed them together and built ourselves another level in the greenhouse, so we could host at least another 100 plants more. As everything in the greenhouse until the tomatoes will be planted, this is just a temporary construction. What you can't see here is that our heater modules are beneath the table and blow hot air into this tunnel whenever it gets too cold. This is also why we cover up everything with this white foil. As mentioned, a lot of our neighbors had branches laying around. May it be that they cut down a tree or just had them from trimming them. Nevertheless, we got them and could chop them down into smaller pieces, which we put on the pathways in the market gardening. This shall prevent weeds from growing fast in those ways and keep some moisture in the ground. <laughs> 